Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Hsu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this video, I'll show you how to do a simple update to Lightroom Classic, updating from 9.0 to 9.1, for example, or from 9.4 to 9.5 when those are out. This video does not apply to updating to 9 point something from 8 point something or 6 point something. Those larger updates or upgrades require a catalog upgrade that can make the process more complex. For that process, watch my video tutorial on how to upgrade to Lightroom Classic 9 from any prior version. In this video, I'll cover the smaller dot updates. Now before updating, it's never a bad idea to back up your Lightroom catalog. If you know that the backup prompt will come up when you close Lightroom, then go ahead and close Lightroom and back up the catalog. If you're not sure if it will come up, then on PC, go to Edit. On Mac, go to Lightroom Classic, and then Catalog Settings. On the General tab, under Backup, if it says every time Lightroom exits, then you're in good shape. You could either set it to this, or if you don't want it to prompt you that often, usually, then choose when Lightroom next exits. That will force the prompt to come up this time, but then this setting will automatically revert to whatever you've had it set at before. I'll choose that. I'll close Catalog Settings, and then I'll close Lightroom Classic. Yes, I'd like to quit, and I'll go ahead and back up. I'll pause this video while the backup completes. Now you can either open your Creative Cloud application or you can open Lightroom again. You can always get to the Creative Cloud application by going to Help Updates. That simply opens the Creative Cloud application. If you don't have the Creative Cloud application, go into your account on adobe.com into Services and you'll see a button there to get the Creative Cloud app. Now this app, as you can see, has recently been redesigned. When there's an update available for Lightroom Classic, you should find it under Updates. Now as I'm recording this, there actually isn't a Lightroom Classic update available, but I would see Lightroom Classic listed here on the Updates tab. Note that this Lightroom application where the icon has rounded corners and cyan edges is not the one you're looking for. This is the cloud-based Lightroom application, the other Lightroom. You're looking for Lightroom Classic and specifically for Lightroom Classic version 9 point something. If you still have an old version of Lightroom 6 or Lightroom 5, they might be listed as Lightroom Classic version 6 point something or 5 point something. If you know that there's an update available, maybe because you got my newsletter telling you that, and you don't see it here, then try going to Help Check for Updates to refresh this screen. If you still don't see it, then rather than going to Updates, go to All Apps or Photography. By the way, I have more apps than you may have simply because I have the All Apps plan, which has a lot more than just the photography apps. Find Lightroom Classic version 9 here, if you don't see an Update button, then click on the three dots, choose Other Versions, and see if a new version is listed here. If so, you'll see an Update button right here. I'll click on Done. Since there is no update as I'm making the video tutorial, I'll go ahead and update Photoshop instead. You'll simply see Waiting and then Updating. Now, I won't bother to let this complete, but when it's finished updating, the Update button will switch to an Open button. You can either open from the button, or you can open from the icon in your dock, taskbar, or on your desktop, just as before. Now, let me show you a couple other things here in the Creative Cloud application. I'll go up to Settings here, and into Apps. Notice that you can choose to let the Creative Cloud app keep Lightroom, Photoshop, and any other apps you have automatically up to date. So when an update comes out, it will automatically be installed. Now, I generally don't recommend that 
because occasionally an update comes out that has bugs in it. And occasionally those bugs are serious enough that it's worth waiting for those to be fixed. If you have auto update on, you're going to end up with the buggy version. Instead, I generally recommend not to do this and to wait a week or so after an update comes out to see how other people do with the update before installing it yourself. There will be some of you that this will make sense for though. If you just never get around to doing updates and you just wish it would do them for you, this is fine. You can turn it on. Now if you update and if there is a bug that affects you and you want to get back to the previous version, then find Lightroom Classic, click on the three dots here, go to other versions and uninstall the one you have and install the previous version. Now it's that simple if you're reverting from 9.4 to 9.3 for example. But if you need to revert from 9 point something to 8 point something, that's more complex. So I won't cover that in this video. Once the update's done, go ahead and open Lightroom Classic. You can do so from the button here, or you can open it from your dock or taskbar any way you normally would. Now because this would have been a small dot update, you should still see all of your photos here and all of your work, and you can enjoy the new features. Your dock, taskbar, and desktop icons still work, and there are no old catalogs to clean up. I think it's a good idea after updating just to be absolutely sure that you do have the latest version. Go up to Help, System Info, and the version will be listed here. Now, because you have a Creative Cloud subscription, if you have any update or installation issues, you can get phone or chat support from Adobe. Go onto the adobe.com website, sign into your account, and go through the support links. Alternatively, you could turn to the forums. My favorite forums are the ones on lightroomclean.com. There are a lot of really experienced moderators there, but the Adobe Lightroom Classic forum can also be very helpful. This concludes the video on updating Lightroom Classic.